At 11, a local seamstress is selling handmade masks instead of taking in wedding gowns. Lori Buring shows us how they are coming together at Sewing Creations. The age of six is when Maura Uoa began sewing. She's been in alterations for more than 20 years. And I just finished today making some masks for the fire department. With no wedding gowns to alter or veils to create, the seamstress decided to make masks and caps for first responders and healthcare workers. My son Nicholas, his friend, uh, called me and told me that she wanted me to make masks for the nurses and also caps for ladies who has a long hair. Mm -hmm. They cannot find those things. Uyoa says making the caps takes a little bit longer, but she's glad to do it. We have to make little pleats and the, the pattern is a little more complicated, but it will be worth it. It doesn't matter. She is also selling the mask to the public. They take the, the order by the phone, payment by the phone, and they come pick it up. And I walk to their car with my mask on and deliver it to them. Each mask is $10. In Tallahassee, Lori Beering, ABC 27. And she says she's happy to be able to do something for the city she loves so much. If you would like to buy a mask, we've got a phone number for Sewing Creations with this story at WTXL.TV.